have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. This reminds me of my time in India. When I was 10 years old, I was asked to go to a well and to bring water for the whole family. That's in that well, it was so deep. I was so fearful. Every time I would have a bucket and a rope and I tie the bucket and I put that bucket to the wall, my fear starts. I was so scared. But it reminds me of Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. Be strong and courageous. First forward, at the age of 32, I joined the army. In the army, week two, I have fractured both legs, left and right. I have no idea how I'm gonna graduate my basic combat training. But by the drawer surgeon, hey, Pat Nag, I don't think we can make it. Now you have broken your legs. It is time for you to get out of the military. So I go to the office. There are three drawer surgeons right in front of me. And I begged those drawer surgeons to give me at least a week. The week came, four o'clock in the morning. And it is about time to do the fitness test. Two minutes sit-ups, two minutes push-ups, and two miles run. And I am scared. I'm scared. So I did my max out on push-ups and sit-ups. I start to run. And those three things came to my mind. Three words, help me God. This is my encouragement to you all. There will be time you'll be put to challenge but believe in yourself. I would like to say this, empowerment is a fundamental way for leaders to demonstrate trust. Trusting our people to accomplish the mission by arming them with the resources, vision, and confidence of creating change will help to ease an anxiety that inherently exists in people who are obstinate to change. My challenge to you again, leaders, go ahead and empower our airmen. We have the resource, we have the vision, and we have the mission to carry our missions.